did you did you already have an idea then that you wanted to do some HVAC work? I know you do a number of jobs behind the wall. So was HVAC one of the jobs that you may have had, which would is which have inspired this? Uh, no, ma'am. But uh, in a roundabout way, uh, one of the jobs that I had while I was incarcerated did lead me uh, down this path uh, in a roundabout way. So uh, prior to getting my first job in HVAC, uh, I had never even uh, heard the term HVAC. Uh, I was not mechanically inclined at all. I didn't know how to uh, use any of the tools, didn't know how to use a drill. I didn't know how to use a crescent wrench. I didn't really even know how to use a hammer except to swing it, right? Uh, but I, so while I was incarcerated, the the uh, primary job I had while I was incarcerated was I was a GED teacher, right? I became a GED, uh, a GED teacher while I was incarcerated, and I actually helped uh, a little over 70 guys get their GED. And that was when I discovered that I had a, a somewhat of a knack for teaching um, very specific types of guys, right? Uh, I just realized that I really excelled at, at teaching guys who had somewhat of a street background, uh, teaching those guys, um, you know, just uh, basic skills like math and reading, right? I would, uh, uh, and I didn't even know that I had this skill set as far as teaching, uh, there was a guy who was running the GED department and he was just looking through a uh, tape test scores. So when you first get incarcerated, uh, like the first day you have to uh, take like a tape test to kind of see where you score. And apparently I had like uh, a perfect score on my tape test. So this guy was like, damn, man, it, you know, he's a he's relatively young because, like I said, I was 21 when I went to prison. So they were like, man, he's pretty young. He's uh he's black, right? Because at that time all of the teachers were white. Uh, they were like, man, he's a black guy. He's pretty young. Uh, he has perfect tape scores. Let's see if he's interested in teaching. So I went up there and I was like, yeah, I give it a try, sure. And uh, I just got in front of the guys and I started teaching math. And the first thing I asked was uh. You know, what's something in math you guys struggle with, right? Everybody was saying like fractions, decimals, uh, stuff like that. And I was like, well, wait a minute now. There is no way I can be in a prison, right? Guys, every everybody in here is from the street. And you guys say you struggle with fractions? Impossible. So they were like, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, we don't know fractions, this and that. So I was like, how many people in here done sold drugs, right? Everybody raised their hand, right? So... Everybody knows uh, if you got a quarter plus a quarter, or uh, if you go buy a quarter and then you buy another quarter, what you got? Everybody said, I got a half. So I said, okay then. So you know one-fourth plus one-fourth equals one-half then. They were like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's how you, I was like, yeah, that's all fractions are. So when, it, when, they, when that revelation was made, from that moment forward, uh, I became the math teacher and I excelled at it, right? Uh, I didn't realize that I was able to make uh, teaching math so easy. So I said all that to say, uh, while I was incarcerated, no, I never learned or even thought about HVAC, but I did realize that I had the capacity to become a teacher, which is kind of what I'm transitioning into now. So 